Okay, we're going to take a look at the calendar. Now we're going to add an event, edit an event, and we're going to email some other users about an event. So if we're inside of Gmail, we're going to go up to the calendar button. And right now we have a week view. We're going to switch to the day view. And uh, there's a couple options at this point. We can create an event right here. So we'll do that first. We're going to call this uh, grade level meeting. Uh, today's 817, so we're just going to say that this meeting is taking place at 8 o'clock tonight. It's not all day. Where is it going to be? It's going to be at the Needle Library. I'm not going to add a description. I'm going to make the color uh, teal. And as that event is going on, are we going to show either us being busy or available? So we're busy, and uh, we're going to add a few people to the guest list. So I'm going to add myself. I've been added. And um, what you'll see is if you were to ask numerous people, um, it will email them. And when they respond, uh, you'll see that this will start to change. So we have yes, no, maybes, uh, how many people are waiting, and optionals here. So that's how you make an event and email out. And the last thing I want to show you is a quick ad. So if we have, today is Friday, if we have dinner at Sunday, let's rewrite that, dinner on Sunday, at 6 p.m. and hit enter, we should go to Sunday, and at 6 p.m. it'll add an event. So as long as you put the day, as well as the time, we can add a quick ta uh, quick ad there. You'll see here I have in sort of a time uh, countdown going on until my next meeting. Um, that is another widget that you can add, and those are located uh, in the settings tab right here under labs. And you can scroll through here. There's a bunch of cool stuff that you can use to uh, assist you in not missing any appointments or things like that. So, good luck with the calendar.